Hello, this is a video on how to solder a four pin connector. See so your skinny four pins onto your bare cable. So the first thing to do is actually remove the housing. So put your left hand around the black end and with your right hand actually start twisting the metal housing. Okay, so put the metal housing down and you'll notice how there's numbers on the pin so pin 1 is red pin 2 is green pin 3 is white and pin 4 is black and to correspond this red cable on pin 1 will be red soldered on here and then pin 2 from here will be the green cable and white and black so we're actually going to prep the cable first I already prepped this one. What you'll do is actually cut a certain amount. You don't want to put too much because the metal housing goes here. These ends will be soldered here. And when this gets screwed on, you don't want too much sticking out. Because then you will have bare wires sticking out and be like this. So you don't want too much bare wire sticking out, so you don't want to cut it too long. And if it's too short, it would be too hard to solder. So this is the appropriate length. And you'll actually start getting a wire stripper. And separate these out. And actually start stripping these cables. Okay took me a couple tries but I finally got length see this metal is actually too long so what we're gonna do you notice here you have too much metal end so we're actually gonna cut this Okay, so we're actually gonna tin the cable first. So I used this block with clamps on it. We're gonna put solder on all four of the cables to help stick together. Okay, so I have my soldering iron. I'm not actually gonna put enough solder on this cable. Okay. So the cable's fine. Still seems a little long. Probably cut this down a little bit. Okay. And now take your metal housing. What you're going to be doing is get a mini screwdriver and you're actually going to loosen up these screws. You don't have to loosen all the way but just enough where you don't see the screw on the other end so I'll loosen this one. See most of the way out but more importantly it could actually open up and make sure it puts on here. If you forget to put it on here, you want to unsolder and do this all over again. So hold down, pull the cables through, twist on. Careful the cables don't just stick through the outer end. All the way in, touch the housing on. Next, we're gonna get the four pin soldered on. So I tin this as well. So I'm gonna put solder on all these pins. So now take your soldering iron and put solder on this end. You can see I put a little bit extra. So you do need something to hold on to this while doing it. It'll be kind of hard without some mechanism to actually hold on to the five pin.
Okay. So I have all soldered on these. So now importantly will be to check pin one that we labeled on here. So pin two, three, four, so pin one is red. So I want to get that ready. You'll know if you're not wiring it to the correct cable because it won't work. And you're gonna take your red cable from here. And remember pin one was this pin right here so it translates to this one right here so I'll make sure to solder it on okay so I got the first one next pin two is green that's signal positive so wrap these around and this is why you check the length of it because if it's too long then it's inconvenient to make sure they're all the same length wire okay so I have the red and green make sure they don't cross because once they start crossing this will something will short and will not work Pin three, it's a white cable. So pin three here, a white cable. And then my last one is a black cable, pin four. This one's a little too long. So you can see this is where you check pin one it's red pin two it's green pin three it's white pin four it's black none of them are crossing okay so now take your cable and we're going to join the metal housing with it Maybe bend this a little bit to make sure it's straight. If you're forcing it, you're doing it wrong, so you're just gonna make sure it's centered and then start twisting it on. Okay, so now my four pins on there. Don't forget your mini flathead. Here's tight. See, this one could be tight a little more. See, tight, tight. Now you have a four pin connector on your cable, and you can now use your load cell. So try it out, and if not, then maybe one of your wires wasn't pinned correctly. All right.